Come on in, welcome to my home. It is the fifth Wednesday of the month, which means that it's a vlog. This came around sooner than what I originally thought it would. So this week you're going to get to see me get ready for the video, which actually comes up in two weeks, which is the, um, what is that video? It's my favorite things for June, so you get to see me get ready for that. And what's interesting about that video is a lot of that has been recorded because as I get things to test out, because I test out things for Amazon reviews, which is called Amazon Vine, and I get pro products to test out, and I usually record those when I get the product or, you know, mess with the product for a while. So that video goes together fairly easy and fairly quickly, but I have to decide what products I want to include in this. And I know this time I'm not going to include all just Amazon products because one of the things which I did get, have you seen this by now? Yeah, well, you probably haven't, but I did get a Bay Laurel tree and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But you're going to get to see what goes into setting up for doing the talking heads portion of that. I know I'm getting new products in this week to test out. Uh, oh, okay. So, catch you up on some things. So, I ordered some things from Burpee. The Bay Laurel tree came from Burpee. And originally, it was supposed to have been shipped out May 1st. Of course, that didn't happen, so I've contacted Burpee several times. The Bay Laurel did come in last week after me checking in and the, them being like, oh, it's not going out till the 8th. And then from the 8th, there's a 14 day win, 14 business day window for when it can go out. And I'm like, well, wait, your website says it would go out on the 1st. No mention of the 14 day window. So, yeah, so we've been going around about that. Today I was on their website and they were like, uh, yeah, it's in the picked, its status is now picked. And I'm like, what does that mean? Oh, it should ship out. And I'm like, okay. And so I nailed them down to the whole, it's supposed to ship out by the latest on the 18th. So hopefully we'll see that uh, those plants arrive and you can see me repot those today this week because I'm holding off potting some of the seeds that I grew because I need to know how many pots I have left over before I go out and get new ones or do I need to go out and get new ones. So I'm just holding off on everything with those plants. But every morning when I get up, I check the plants, see if I have to water them. This morning I watered for a short time because, and I'm talking about the outdoor plants, because um, it looks like it's going to rain. I know it's supposed to rain tomorrow. What other things? I also need to rotate, because I rotate my plants. Not as in rotate them as in move them around the house, switching places. I rotate them as I do a quarter turn every week, so that that way I don't get a plant which is growing in just one direction, stretching for the light. So I will do that this morning, water them and rotate. Uh, but it feels really weird not to <laughs> be doing a full video, because this video will be part of that vid the video for the week. And then also, if you're belonging to my Patreon or if you are part of the channel members, you get a weekly vlog every week which shows you what goes on in my week. And yeah, so, hmm. Do I have anything that I know coming up for certain? Well, I know that I'm making a trip or taking my mom to her doctor's appointment out of town on Friday. Um, other than that, we will sort of play it by ear. You'll get to see the laundry videos and then the cleaning video. However, the cleaning videos are always weird because I clean one room a week, well, one area a week, because since I live alone, it doesn't get that dirty. So yeah, so laundry, cleaning, my weekly stuff, but I need to get started because there are a lot of plants that I have to, well, not a lot, but there are some plants I have to rotate and hopefully that'll be it. So let's get going. I water all the plants and then make sure that they're all rotated. You'll notice that I did not water the uh, aloe as much because they do not get as, <laughs> they do not need as much water. I did water the bay laurel, which I hadn't planned on doing, but since I just got it on, I think Saturday, Friday or Saturday, 
uh, I want to make sure that it gets all watered in. It only gets watered once a month. Everything else I do check on during the week to make sure that they get enough water and everything. But yeah, that was the simple part. Now, if you're wondering, how do I keep my whole day, my whole week, all of that straightened out? Well, I do that on Google uh, Calendar. And so I just make sure that I have it set up. So I have tasks that I have, certain tasks that I have to do. I also make sure that I have my calendar all set up. It has my meal planning. It has packages that are supposed to be coming in. Uh, what else is on there? It also has my mom's calendar, so I know that when she's supposed to be doing things. But I make sure that that calendar is always up to date, and I make sure that I'm always checking things off, so that, that way I know that I've done what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today, we are looking at my favorite things for June. These are the things I've gotten within the past month that have either made a big impact in my life or a big impression. All right, a really short intro and outro has been filmed for the video. I want to keep it really short because I have no idea how long this video is going to be because as of right now, I do not know all the things that will be in this video. I do know for one thing, the, can you see those? Yeah, the uh, 4th of July fireworks lights will be in there. Probably those boxes that I just got will be in there. And possibly the, I, I have to make sure I haven't done this already, possibly the uh, infrared joint thing bobber will be in there. I know that the plants from Proven Winners will be in this video. And I also know that the uh, Bay Laurel will be in there. What else? I don't know. What if those things will get cut? I don't know right now, uh, but there'll be more things in there. I'd like to include the really cool um, lanterns that I got, but the problem is they don't stay on that long. So I even mentioned that in the the video. So I don't know how this is going to play out. I oh yeah, I forgot about the little um, solar nightlight thing, uh, solar lamp. That I will include that in the video because that's really cool. And this is where these videos can like go on forever because some of these things are really cool. And like I find that the things that I use the most are what I like to include in them. Um, turning this way. The, that is an under kitchen, under sink cabinet thing. And I put that there to house my computer stuff. And I have one underneath where my computer is. I use that every day, like every single day. Um, so I probably should include that. Uh, I don't know what else. We'll have to see what else. But, like, there are other things which just won't get in there. Like, the solar panel that you've... You probably haven't seen this, no. There was a solar panel that came in that's supposed to charge up your, um, outdoor camera lights. I wonder if I've... Have I done those cameras? Might have to do the cameras, too. Um, which supposed to charge up your outdoor cameras. It came in broken, and right now I'm fighting with that company because they're like, well, I've probably already told you this, so yeah, I'm fighting with them, but we'll figure that out. Um, what other things? I have to check and see, and I have to see what have I included, what have I not included, because it was last month that I did this. So yeah, yay. But let me get to work and see what we're going to include. So that is a light that I have had, well, my mom had it, and then she decided she didn't like it, and it was mine to begin with, but I took it back, and so now I'll use it as an accent light um, in here. So, yeah, that's something. I always find it interesting when parents used to worry about their kids being messy and how they'd grow up being messy. Because I was that kid. I never wanted to clean my room. I'd just leave things around. I was a messy kid. And now that I'm older, it's just like, I can't go to sleep at night if I haven't gotten everything straightened up. So that, that way when I wake up in the morning, everything's put away. So yeah, it changes. So if you're worried about your kid doing that, don't, don't worry about it. Because I totally changed. I am not that messy person anymore. That's good. Good Tuesday morning. It, of course, is cleaning day. And the cool part about this cleaning day is it's my bedroom. And, like, I clean 
each I have four rooms or four areas I clean a week, which is, which I'm holding up my thumb but you can't see it. Uh, I clean my wet rooms, kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, my living room, bedroom, office. So once a month I clean those areas. And you can get away with that when one, you live alone, and two, you pick up nightly. So aside from dust, <laughs> that's about all I have to do. So cleaning my bedroom is so super simple. So super simple. All right, let's see where we are with things. Um, tomorrow, half the plant order from Burpee is supposed to come in. We'll see what happens. Um, I need to figure out what exactly what items I'm going to be doing in next week's video so I can get make sure I have all of that ready to go because I want to edit that this week. And aside from that, I think that's about it. Hooray! So like I said, my bedroom, not a problem because I'm always in there. So yeah, it's clean, didn't take any time, I like that. It's nice to have a cleaning day, which is super, super easy. Now I do do the once a month, or once a, twice a year cleaning, where I do the spring cleaning and the fall cleaning. Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Wow, I did not think it was that dark. Okay, so where are we? So I have 20, I have 20, I have 13 items that would be cool to make a video on. Hmm. Now, if you think about that, and I talk about each item for just three minutes, that's 26 minutes. That did not include, I would have loved to have talked about the herbs which are coming tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that, that can't happen. <laughs> That can't happen, so I'm going to have to cut down my 13. And I didn't even talk about the plant that's in my bathroom. It's not even a plant, it's a fake shrub flower thing. Uh, so, and I think that I means, I think, I think that looks really cool. Other people might not, but I mean, I know I do. I know that the 4th of July fireworks things will be in there. And the lamp, which isn't on right now, <laughs> will, will be there. But like, I don't know. I think 13 is a bit much. I mean, I could cut it down to 10. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Because, like I said, three minutes for each thing. And when I look at the counter now, I've been talking for one minute and 17 seconds. Three minutes to talk about these things. We'll see. I think I might have to cut it down to five. Yikes. Okay, uh, I don't know what I'll do. It's been raining all afternoon. I made oat milk and uh, uh, mocha syrup, but I've done that before, so I didn't record it. Um, most of my day has been looking at, what do I want to show on this video for next week? And like I said, it's, I'm, I have to cut it down. I have to, 13 things. Hmm, we'll see what makes it. I don't know if I've talked about this lately, how absolutely insane I am about like making sure everything's put away before I go to bed. So it's about 7.35 right now. No, I'm not going to bed at 7.35, but I need to put the dishes away from uh, doing the mocha syrup and the getting the first part of the oat milk done. 
I also need to start the water filter because I have two water filters which I always have going. I'm changing that out so I'm going to put the dishes away, get the water filters because you're supposed to soak the water filter for 10 minutes then rinse it out and so we'll do that and then I like to run it through three cycles before I put it in. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. Yay! Good Wednesday morning. It is a laundry day and normally I would have my YouTube conference where we meet and we talk about all things YouTube. We've been doing this for years, but today we are not having that. Uh, oh, here's a funny story. So I kept getting these messages from FedEx telling me that the package that I, w that I had ordered was either coming or it wasn't coming or it was coming or it wasn't coming. But well, it came. It was just a pair of pants. So yeah, that was funny. That was like, it's coming. It's not coming. It's coming. It's not coming. And last I heard it wasn't coming, then they delivered it. So yeah, if I need to get laundry started, so let me do that. So let's, let's think about this logically as I look at my list of now 14 things because I forgot about the apron. So then that leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think I can deal with 7, 7 things. So yeah, it's a good thing. I, I'm happy. Glad we did this. Thursday morning, it of course is changing the bed day. Hooray! So I changed the bed. Thank you. 
now let's talk about something. If you've ever watched any movie or any video or anything where you see things done in a specific order, can I show you what the order actually is? So when I do the bed, I actually don't take the sheets right away to the washer. What happens is I just walk out of the room, walk back in, do the bed. Then when I go into the laundry room, I then set up the camera, go set that up to put the laundry in. Then I switch the camera back. I switch the camera once the washer is done so I can put the stuff into the dryer. But I've already done the bed. So okay, that's no big deal. So then I do the things in the dryer. Uh, once they come out, I fold them. Then when I take them out, I leave the room. Then I just come right back in and put the uh, lavender oil away. And then I walk out. But then I do the close-up of me getting the lavender oil. And then do a close-up of me putting the lavender oil back. Then we go into the bedroom where I do the thing where I... Uh, walk in, put the sheets into my drawer, but I actually just put them in knowing that I'm not going to leave them there because I then put the uh, wedge pillow case on there, walk out, then I go back and refill me putting the sheets into the drawer. So nothing is done in the order that you think it's done. It's always sort of interesting. So the laundry is all done. I put together this bubbler type watering system. And as I said in my Amazon review of it, was the fact that while I think it's, it works, I mean, it does really work, but the problem is you can only set it up to run for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 20 minutes every 24 hours or 12 hours. That's a lot of water. I'm, that, that's a lot of water. Even at five minutes, it was still a lot of water. So I have it hooked up to eight plants, seven plants right now. And um, <laughs> it used three quarters of a gallon of water. That's a lot of water for, and they're in tiny, tiny pots right now. So yeah, I can't imagine myself watering plants every day like that and not having some bad, bad things happen to them. However, you can just hit, because it, okay, it uses the solar power to uh, run the pump to all of these. So you can just hit the on and off button, which is probably what I'm going to do. Because the nice part about this is, like the spider plant, it's easier to water that way because it just bubbles over and it gives the water. But yeah, that's a lot of water and I, I, I just don't think that was really well thought out. Uh, let's see what else. So, so I'm also trying to figure out uh, what to do because remember, I'll finish up the video for next week. Well, for you it'll be the next week. Uh, which will be the, uh, which will be, what is that video? Oh, my favorite things. So I'll finish that up this weekend and I don't want to show you too much of that because then you're going to know what is in that video. Um, but then the very next video for after that one is the food for the book, The Wizard's Butler. And I have to figure out what to do for that because in that they do a lot of coffee and tea and it's just straightforward coffee and tea. And I think I'm going to do like tea service, breakfast, coffee service, that sort of thing. But I have to think about that. But that's where we are. Yay. One of my new favorite things is... All right, so it is Thursday evening, about 6.30. I'm going to start editing you guys because I know tomorrow's going to be a bust. So... As you're seeing this, I'm going to be editing. 
Yay! Okay, what a morning. Okay, so you're expecting me to say good Friday morning and we are about ready to head off and we're not because mom woke up, she didn't feel well this morning and so uh, we canceled her appointment. She feels really bad because she doesn't feel well and I'm like, no, no, it's okay. We'll just reschedule your appointment. But like, one of the things which I think is really interesting is the whole like, there are things that show up on her phone that she doesn't understand, and she wants to understand them, however, the explanation can get involved and complicated, or can get, like, one of those things where you're just like, here's what it is, but this is going to lead to other questions. And I'm like, you know, well, you're not feeling well, let's wait and we can explain this later. So that didn't make her happy, but she did go back to bed and I'll explain the because it was just simple pop-ups and I know that when she gets upset like she doesn't feel well she felt guilty about missing the appointment about being a hassle to me and I'm like you're no hassle to me I'm like you know we'll just get this taken care of and I rescheduled her appointment for two weeks from now it's not a big deal but to her it was a huge big deal so I got it all taken care of and uh, so now this really is going to be interesting because I had scheduled out a four hour chunk of my day. This video is already long enough, so what will we do? I don't know. I have to think about this. Let's think about this logically as I was talking thinking about the, how long this video is. Uh, I'm looking at my, cat, my computer, my phone, uh, long day. Uh, so when you think the fact that there are 40 hours, I try to only work a 40 hour, well, within the 40 hour time frame. In that 40 hours, there are 2,400 minutes. Okay, so in that 2,400 minutes, I'm trying to show you about, th this is probably going to be about 30 to 35 minutes long, and if you do that, hang on, I just lost my calculator. If you do that, um, Clear entry 35 divided by. I am showing you 1%, well, almost 2% of my week. That's it. That's all I'm showing you is about 2% of my working week. And it's still this long. So, yeah, it's hard to figure out what to show, what not to show. Huh, interesting, but let's keep this shorter. I'll, I'll, I'll keep this down. I was, it's about four o'clock, I was holding out to hopefully get the plants, the herbs, not herbs, those are already here, the tomatoes and those sort of things in, however, it's four o'clock, I don't think they're coming in today. So I'm going to end this video here, it's already long enough. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in finding out more about the behind the scenes or helping me decide what kind of videos to do later on or that sort of thing, uh, go ahead and become part of the Patreon family or the channel members. It's a great place so that you can then tell me what you'd like to see, see what's going on, see what I'm doing behind the scenes. And then you'll also find out more about my life, which I didn't include much about that in this video. But yeah, so that's something to think about. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.